to get the Apple ALC to work with all your audio encoder on your system we need to download the ALC so I'll go to the website and download now when you open this one this PCI manager and mine happened to be the IDT it's not really an ALC but your codec right so for instance this one right here let's open right click show package content content and then we look at the info list so IO kit personality so what you're gonna do is gonna do alternate F say ALC 282 for instance now when you look in here 282 they have many version okay so you will choose the one that works so look at this one the important thing is the layout ID so you can try layout ID 3 ID 4 ID 13 ID 22 uh, ID 27, ID 28. So you can choose whatever the layer ID exists in the info, info dot list. So now I'm going to look for my IDT, see if they have it. So IDT. So what is mine? 92HD91BXX 91BXX you can search 91BXX you can see right there so here I have layout ID 3 ID 12 so this one's for Envy so the mine's Envy right 13 33 84 so actually I only have five choices for layout ID so what layout ID do I use here I go to config dot list so with the config file that we need to have is the devices the audio you can inject you can try all the injection for different layout ID that exist in the Apple ALC for your codec okay make sure it's the right one I use 13 the sound the layout ID 13 the sound is smaller lower different speakers and when I use 12 the different speakers so make sure you have reset HDA and also make sure when you do it after you sleep and wake all the microphones and everything's are there okay so it depends on the layout ID and the Kodak Commander so you choose the Kodak Commander the latest one the sound to wake up and work all right after sleep to make sure that everything will work and you don't have the kernel panic is to use the latest Lilu the latest whatever green and the latest Apple ALC me I also have to add a kernel patch this one right here so to when you wake up it doesn't reboot so that's the important thing all right the text to patch to make sure that the USB is working they have four port four patches from PM heart make sure you have them and four 
if you do all this automatically the sound will work for your Kodak that is supported inside the Apple ALC now you can also install the Apple ALC inside the library extension okay but when you do that you make sure that you use hacking tools to rebuild cache and repair permission all right so you have to do that so you go to Lilu and you download the latest Lilu so if you put all three of them either you install it or you can put them in the Kex folder other and you should have Lilu Apple ALC and whatever green and the best one to do for the USB is to use the USB inject all the Kex you will have audio